how to find and fix broken links in WordPress. Help improve your SEO on your website in about five minutes or so. All right, that's what we'll be talking about today. But first, please subscribe to the channel. I make videos about making money online. I have hundreds of videos in my back catalog. Check those out as well. Hit the notification bell to be notified of new videos coming out too. All right, so let's get right into this. So first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is add this plugin here. You're gonna to go to your WordPress plugins, add new, do a search for broken link checker. This one right here. I already have it installed, so I'm just gonna hit install and then activate. And then you're gonna to go to tools, broken links. And as you can see here, I have now, when you first install it, it might take a while to go through your links, so just be patient with that. I had it installed already. So I have 700 links right here, four broken, um, and then warnings. I'm gonna show you some of these, and then there's redirects as well. So it's what you're gonna wanna do. Okay, so some of these links are in, in comments. Some people, times people make websites and such, and then they their websites, they don't have them anymore or whatever the case may be. This one looks like an internal link on my website here in the comments as well. And you're gonna to wanna to fix these and such or delete some of them because Google's constantly uh, crawling your website and you know when it finds these things, it's, it hurts your SEO. So for example, this one here, it looks like there's a lot of sites here on these warnings that were the HTTPS are not there. Now, you can go through these, there's bulk actions, you can delete all these if you want to as well, but you're gonna to wanna to go through them and check and see what they are. Like um, lot of, like I said, a lot of them are in comments and stuff like that, and some of these are internal links and some are external links. So a really quick way to just go through these here, like for this one, this is for delivery.com. It has the HTTP instead of the HTTPS, so it's giving me a connection fail as well. So if I just go here in here, and this one's in a comment, so I could probably just unlink that one anyways, just like so, and you don't have to worry about it. But other times you don't want to unlink every website because it might just be something as simple as the wrong website, if you will. Um, so let's see here. I have this government site here, edit URL. Let's make it HTTPS. Even suggested pages from the Wayback Machine here, from older sites that you can use if the website is gone. So I rechecked that one and it's gone from this list, so I'd assume that it's okay then. <laughs> Go to the broken links here. This is an internal link, I wonder what this is from. Okay. So this helps you, especially if you had your website up for a while, because there's so many things that change over time that you're gonna to wanna to go through here. I'm not gonna do all these on here. Well, I'm, I'm just gonna show you this real quick. So um, yeah, then there's even redirects and stuff up here. And you're gonna to wanna to take some time and just go through these and check out what's going on. Like I have some Amazon affiliate links, it looks like. But yeah, this has the HTMLS, HTTP, or put that in there, HTTPS. An affiliate link for Amazon. So pretty cool. It's a really cool plugin. I recommend it. Check it out. That is all for today. Please also check out the rest of my videos on my channel. I have hundreds of videos about making money online and such, other WordPress stuff as well. That is all for now, and I will talk to you soon.